How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Booze Review. So the other day I was in the shops, same just to be more specific, and I was having a look for something, a good browse, something new, maybe something fun and something affordable as always, because that's kind of what I like to go for. Um, there was a lot of things, I saw the Kraken coffee rum, that was £24, um, which I do want to have a go at soon. But then I saw this uh, in the gins, Gordon's Morello Cherry Gin, and it was only £15 for the 70 centilitre bottle, which I thought was a really, really good price. Um, so I picked it up, uh, and we're going to give it a good old try today. So the first thing we're going to do, obviously, get a nice glass, and um, we're going to get it poured and see what's what. So, <laughs> like... Like the big man child I am, it was the bright colour that brought me to it. But obviously, £15 is really good, especially for Gordon's. So, let's give it a quick smell and see what we get. Okay, so. Mmm, definitely smells like cherry. The gin, like the, the smell of the gin in itself just shoots through too. So, yeah. I'm not getting anything else, there's no extra like little bonuses in there, it's just pure cherry and gin, which is what we kind of expect. <laughs> God, this is a very basic review at the moment, isn't it? Oh my God, though. That's really good. So, it's really sweet. Let me just start with that. It's actually really easy to drink neat. So you get that slight uh, warm slash burny kind of feel to it, but it went down really easy as well. Um, it's not harsh, doesn't take your breath away. Like I say, it's sweet, the cherry flavouring is perfect. It doesn't taste artificial, it tastes more natural. So like, there's been some things like uh, we tried the Jim Beam cherry, dark cherry, and I said, I think, I'm pretty certain it was that one I said, was like more of a, Tangfastic, you know, Haribo Tangfastic cherry flavouring, whereas this, it tastes really natural. It tastes like the genuine fruit which of, of the cherry. Um, really sweet. Yeah. In terms of, like, the gin in itself, like the, it's there. You can taste it, you can very easily taste it, but it's not too strong. It's like the perfect mix. It's just, it's just perfect. It goes down really, really easily. And we'll have to top this up a little bit. So now, we're going to give it a go with some lemonade. Um, obviously, when I do these videos, these reviews, I like to see if there's anything else I can find that kind of mixes with it really nicely. In this occasion, it's gin, for one. I don't like to mess around with gin too much. I, ne I don't mix it with Coke. I just don't think Coke, even if it's like a cherry-flavoured Coke, it just doesn't complement gin well at all. I feel like it's always best to play it safe with some lemonade. Got a nice bottle of white. It's one of the best brands going. Let's get this cracked, and let's get this poured. Right, so, as always, as I always say, I don't like to dilute it too much with the mixer. So, um, it was filled to here with the gin, and then I've topped it up with the lemonade. That's because I don't want to dilute too much of the flavour in a way. Um, I still want to be able to taste that it is an alcoholic uh, cherry flavoured drink. Um, but also, obviously, the lemonade takes out any of that kick that might be in there. Like I did say, they're very easy to drink neat. So... That's stunning. It just tastes like it just tastes like a cherry lemonade now. That's really, really good. Um, I would say it take, that mixing it takes away a few of the how do I say it? Like a few of the like the key elements of it, of having it neat. Um, now neat, the flavour is unreal it's just straight out there like i said it's sweet and it's strong it's just good it's not too much and it's really easy to drink with the lemonade don't get me wrong it's still nice it's still sweet still tastes like cherry um 
I'd say definitely Lemonade makes it more official, but that's because of the Lemonade. Um, it reminds me mildly of like a vimto flavour now. Um, very easy to drink though. It does not taste like booze at all. It does not taste like gin. It, all like the, what is it, like the botanicals, all of the gin flavouring, gone now. Completely gone. Um, I mean, absolutely, you can pour it stronger. Uh, have a have a stronger uh, gin to lemonade ratio, which is probably something I would go for. Um, but still, really good, a really good drink. Um, I mean, neat. It's a ten out of ten, a hundred percent, one hundred percent, a ten out of ten neat drink. Um, with lemonade, it's a seven and a half, <laughs> about seven and a half out of ten. A really good drink. Uh, I just think it's unfortunate that it takes away a lot of um, how perfect this drink really is. Um, but, like I said, I'll most likely be mixing it stronger. Um, probably 25 to 75, maybe even a 30 to 70 ratio, gin to lemonade. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. Cannot recommend it enough. So, um, £15 as well. What an absolute steal. Um, so yeah, if you see this in your local Sainsbury's and you're thinking whether it's worth giving a go... Absolutely, I'm sure it's uh, on sale. It's for sale, sorry, in all your other supermarkets, with it being Gordon's. Um, it's just that's where I saw it for such a good price, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it somewhat helpful in your next uh, bit of boo shopping. Um, if you did, of course, leave it a like, drop me a comment, let me know what you think. It all helps, and it just helps get that video out there a little bit more. Uh, of course, if you're not, subscribe for plenty more booze-related content. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.